Now, a quick word from our sponsors today at Uncommon Goods. Guys, the holiday season is here. We just had Thanksgiving, so you know what that means. It's time to get those gifts together for your secret Santas. If you wanna hear where you get that this holiday season, look no further than Uncommon Goods. When you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting small artists and independent businesses. Uncommon Goods takes the stress out of holiday shopping for you by searching the globe for the most unique gifts you can possibly find. Whether you're shopping for your new boo, your brother, your mama, or your teacher, you can always count on Uncommon Goods to deliver something one of a kind. So teacher's pets, listen up. Uncommon Goods has the cutest gifts. Put your name in a snowflake. Yes, please. Create a customizable tray or coffee mug. Okay, also tea. I love that they offer experiences like mixology classes, couples painting, painting your pets, what? Or even DIY dumpling classes. Real talk, I didn't even know I needed that until now. Uncommon Goods is your new companion for the holidays, offering gifts that are high quality, unique, and often handmade. From art and jewelry to kitchen, home, and bar products, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they give back $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. To get 50% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash bottoms up. That's uncommongoods.com slash bottoms up for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. Wait, real quick, before we go, did you say nip that shit in the bud? Yeah. Is it bud or butt? Butt, you freak hoe. It's, it's not butt? No. Oh, this is awkward, okay. I've, so I've said nip that shit in the butt for like my entire life. You're so freaky. Okay. Hey, hey, hey y'all. It's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. B Bottoms up. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Bottoms Up with your favorite sexy local bad bitch, Fanita. And today, for the first time ever, this podcast is a first date. Um, I have brought someone here that I am madly in love with. He was completely and utterly written by women, has the smile of 10,000 angels and 4,000 sons, the love of my life. He is a podcaster on the hit podcast, Suburb Talks, Nick Grahetta. What's up, guys? I'm not going to lie. I wasn't nervous, but you saying all that, now I'm nervous. No, like, don't be. Oh, I'm good? Yeah. Okay, okay, you okay. always good with me. <laughs> um, Nick, your birthday just passed. Mm -hmm. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. You're Scorpio. Yeah. How has Scorpio season been for you? I don't know. There wasn't like something in retrograde recently. Like something's you, always in something's always Gatorade. in retrograde, right? Yeah. I don't know, but I will say, end of October to beginning of November was a really, really fun time. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Scorpios, do you believe cheaters deserve a second chance? Damn, we getting right into it. No, I don't think so. Really? No, no, no. I don't either. I feel like once a cheater, always a cheater. No, okay. Not only that though, the way I see it is like. Let's say, let's say we dating, right? Yeah, uh, I would love to imagine that. I'm, I'm fully in. This I'm all is, here. This is the thing. This is the thing, right? So let's say, let's say you cheat on me or something yeah. like that, and uh, I take you back. Even if I forgive you completely, I still you feel still like you still never forgive me. Nah, because no matter what, if I see you like texting, like where you, texting? Where you so, going, yeah. something like that, I'm always in the back of my mind going to be like, dude, what? That's why I always get confused when people take back cheaters. Because like, I feel like you you have to like live in a constant yep. state of paranoia. Yep. Like, is he really going to the gym with his friends? Yep. Like, who are you texting? And you and then it's like if you're going to keep doing that, and then like. You keep like, well, you cheated on me, so this is why. If, if that's the case, then let same, that, let same that thing, man go. Same thing with like them being like, oh, you did this, so I need your location. I need your passwords. I need this and that. I'm yeah, like, then it's like an evasion of privacy. Then it's just like, maybe y'all should just let people go. Also, hot take, I don't think you can love somebody and cheat on them. Nah. No, no, no. Johnny Depp said some shit like that. He was like, if you're having trouble deciding which uh, person to choose, pick the second, because if you really loved the first one, you wouldn't have cheated on them. Mm. I was like, I was like, damn, like that's low-key true. Hate to agree with him, but it is though. A, it is though. That was a bar. Mm -hmm. So um do you remember the first time we met? I do. We were at um the premiere, the Amazon, the, the Amazon. That premiere. movie that nobody watched while the we was movie there. That nobody watched. I literally <clears throat> let me reminisce. Mm. I remember walking through and I seen Nick in his Nick is always smiling. Like this is like Nick Nick is a guy that just loves to smile. And he has a beautiful smile, and I love nice, perfect teeth. And he was just so inviting and so kind and like so friendly to me. And I was like, is this love? <laughs> I remember I remember that night too because I had to leave early because I was yeah. going to go see somebody. Y'all were being lame. No, no, no. What do you mean we, we were being lame? Because 
Because y'all left. I was the only one that left. Don't oh. you remember? I left because I was seeing. I'm not seeing that and anymore. And I failed but, to. Huh? What? I'm not seeing that girl anymore. But just a heads up. But that's the reason why I left. And I remember you telling me to stay. You were like, you were like, are you dating? Are you dating? I was like, nah. Like, we just, remember, do you not remember this? You okay. remember? You remember? You were like, you were like, I could treat you so much better though <laughs> if you stay. And I was like, I was like, no, I got plans. I gotta go. Hey, <laughs> big raise, <Riz> God. <laughs> <laughs> I was close to saying. I was close because you were there. All the friends were there. We were at the roof of like, like this mall or something like mm -hmm. that. It was a beautiful night. Yeah, it was but... a great night. And one thing about me, I'm going to shoot my shot like Shaq from the baseline. Well, see, that's the thing, though. It was it went from me, and then you was looking at Devin a little bit. What? And then you was looking at Sage. Whoa. And then you huh? was... Yeah. What? What? You don't remember that? I do. Oh. You mean Devin? You mean Devin, your friend? Yeah, that's that, all one. Your that, that one. That one, that one. Sage, you talking Yes, yes, There's yes. There's no... Yes. Nick, you're mm -hmm. lying to me right now. I remember. You're lying You know what's weird? I feel like I would have stayed if you know you had kept all your focus on me. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You had already had options, and it was only fair that I have my options, too. <laughs> you kept your options wide open in front of me, though. That's two different things. Nick, you literally told me you were leaving me to go see another girl. Okay, fine. Yeah, period. All right, fine. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so you grew up in California. Mm -hmm. What's it like growing up in Cali? Because I grew up in Alabama. So I think it's vastly different. Okay. You tell me how you liked growing up in Alabama. I hated it. You hated it? Yeah. Why'd you hate it? Uh, you know, racism, all that shit. Uh, bad relationship with my parents and my family. Uh, you know, a plethora of things. A plethora of things. Yeah, okay. and then also, like, just Alabama as a state is not progressive, and it doesn't mm -hmm. align with, like, my moral views and, like, yeah. how I think about the world. And it's just not a place to be. Like, unless you want to make, like, 30 k a year and be, like, a cop or a manager at Walmart. Yep. Then Alabama's a place for you. But if you want to have literally any other ambition in life besides being a stay-at-home mom, you might have to venture out. So how do you like California now compared to Alabama? I mean, I feel like every place has its caveats, but I feel like for I like living in LA, like personally. I really mm -hmm. do. Like I've met some really dope people. Like there's so much to do. Like I have fun. It is expensive as God, man. why does the valet at the local plaza oh my God. have valet? Why why isn't there no parking? But it's like that just comes with living in a big city, I feel like. Like, yeah. if you live in New York, you, you know what I'm saying? You got to take the train and shit. And like yeah, but I feel like LA is a little bit different, though, because you know how everyone here is driving? New York is like public transportation everywhere. Yes. I feel like it's a little bit easier to get around. It, yeah, for sure. And then also, like, I'm not really a public transit girly. Yeah. I like being in, in my car, blasting my yep. music, having the AC blasting, yep. you know what I'm saying? And being able to talk to myself mm -hmm. and not look psychotic on the train. That is true. Um, so, yeah, I like Kelly. It's cool. Yeah, no, I mean, same thing. Like, I love growing up in California. It's super, like, at least because I grew up in, like, Orange County, right? And it's, like, it's like pretty diverse in the fact that, like, you literally have anyone and everybody. But the weird thing for me was is when I was in elementary school to junior high, I grew up all around uh, Asians, like, mm -hmm. specifically Korean people. So, like, it was strange for me because even though I would go see my family every so often in Mexico, like, mm -hmm. once a month every summer, like, a little bit of, like, what, what do you call it when you have, um, you can't relate to your culture or, like, you don't... Like assimilation type? Something like that or like a... Di you know, There's like a disconnect with yeah. my culture, right? Because like I used to freak out about my hair. Because mm. like Cause I used it's to... curly? Because it's curly and everyone and else had it so, straight. It's so cute. It's so sexy. You I like love it? you. And I'm, yes, you know, I love it you. smells really good. You want to smell it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> 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 I lost control of it. I'm sorry. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> So that's that's what I was saying though. It was one of the biggest things was like that or like how to dress or stuff like that or like how to greet people. So you remember that? Um, did you ever watch Hey Arnold? Not hey, did you ever watch Arthur growing up? Yeah. Do you remember? He's a knitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you felt with your hair. Is this, you know what? I think I, do I remember that part? Uh, it was like Arthur? a Pilgrim episode, and they like they put like the K on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. That's literally no. That's literally how I felt. But you know what, the coolest thing was though. Everyone was super welcoming of me. Mm -hmm. Like would take me in, they would always like, they would introduce me to like different types of things, like what their culture was mm -hmm. like. And then it wasn't until like high school where like I joined like the soccer team and it was me and a bunch of beaners where mm -hmm. I really felt like I was tapped in my culture. And then same thing when I went to junior college, that's when shit totally changed. Cause it was all like Hispanics, uh, there was a lot of like black people there. There was a lot of white people there. There was a lot of, there was literally like everything. Mm -hmm. And I loved it, dude. Yeah. Like I loved it. That's what I hated about Alabama. like. We had three Asians in, in our entire school, and they're yeah. all siblings. And so oh, I had like, really? yeah, I had one Asian girl in my grade, and then like, nope, I didn't have a, I didn't grow, I didn't have a single black boy in my grade, and I had like nobody Hispanic yeah. at all. So I, I only grew up around like, like Southern country white people, and I feel like when I went to college, it was like a culture, culture shock. Yes. Yeah. Like, and then I had to like unpack a lot of. Shit 
that I, I thought about growing up. Yep. Because like you, when you're surrounded by like fucking rhetoric mm. that is constantly said by different people, so you got to be like, well, maybe maybe they all say the same shit, so maybe they're right. Yep. And then I went to college, and I was like, wait a minute, like I had to be like, am I a little anti-black? Mm. Like so, I had like my freshman year of college, I was like, wait. Being black is lit. Like, yeah. I love it. Because, like, my whole life growing up, like, being black was like, you're a second rate person yep. because you're black. Like, you'll never be as smart. You'll never be as pretty. You'll never, you'll have to work four times as hard to get at the same level as like, your white counterpart. So, going to college, I was like, oh, wait, I love being a nigga. Like, this shit is yeah. lit. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna say anywhere. Like, I tried to, I remember. So for like the last like two years of high school, I refused to wear my hair in braids because mm-hmm. I didn't want to look ghetto or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I remember like I went and got like locks. I went I went and braided my hair. I was like, bro, power to the people. Yeah. And black lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> but like you don't under, even understand like how like brainwashed you can be if you don't grow up in a diverse place. Nah. It's crazy. No, I can't imagine that. Like we have friends like that. So like uh, the other thing too was uh, one of my closest friends, he was black growing up mm-hmm. and like Best friend since kindergarten. I love this dude to death. And he moved over to the East Coast. We were in high school, right? Mm -hmm. So the entire time growing up, I felt like me and him were kind of like in the same place until, you know, high school came around. And I kind of like was more in with my culture and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. But him, like it was always just like I said, like Korean people, like Asian people. And I always felt like he never could feel like himself, right? And it was the crazy shit because he goes to the East Coast. He goes to Virginia. Mm -hmm. Uh, He's in D.C., right? And oh, he come, yeah, yeah. yeah, comes back. Man's got the braids. Man's got everything, bro. And he just looks so comfy, like just yes. so comfy at like. And it looks like he's like like loves like himself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm like, that shit is so fire. Did you date a lot in high school? Nah, dude. I haven't even had a girlfriend. I never had a girlfriend. You're you're gagging me right now. I never had a girlfriend. You're lying to me. I'm dead ass. Nick, you're such a catch. I'm I'm serious. What you mean? I'm serious. What? Mm-hmm. I never had a boyfriend either. So but we, so we really just wanted the same. Nick, that's what I'm saying. You don't ever give me a real chance. Honestly, you I'm, think I'm a you, want, you want to know this? You, when, when did I ever say you was a cheater? Nick, you always insinuate that I would cheat on you. Uh, only because you be commenting me, but yet I be seeing the videos of you and Vinny. And I'm like, I'm like, listen, listen. That was work. That oh, was that's work. That oh. was business. Oh, it's just business. I don't say anything when you're around all these sexy ass girls on your podcast. Yeah, you know you haven't. Yeah. That's me. That you know what? Because I don't that's have me. any insecurities when it comes to I'm that. Je- I'm a jealous person. You are. I'm, I'm a jealous I, person. I'm a jealous person too, but I'm not like psychotically jealous. Mm. On a scale of one to ten, I'm probably like a six out of ten on the jealous scale. Okay. What are you? I'm probably like a seven, maybe an eight. Okay, okay. Let me ask. Okay, okay. Let me give you a couple scenarios. Okay, okay. You're dating this girl, mm-hmm. and okay, you're dating me. We're, we're in a relationship. Okay. My guy friend comes into town and wants to take me to dinner. Would you be cool with that? He just comes into town like. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, no. I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, like how, like how long have you known him? Okay, I've known him since college. He's and he visiting was, LA. You know what I'm saying? He came to see me. He wants to hang out because we're friends. Yeah, yeah. And we we want to go to dinner. I say, ask for a table for three. You would want to go. I would want to go. Yeah, yeah. Why? It's, he's your friend. He's my friend too. Yes, but I can do something with three of us at a different time. I want to also spend quality time with my guy friend alone, so we can catch up and like talk how we want to talk without my boyfriend being there. Why do you not want me there? Is it because like okay? So are you the type that you gonna ghost your friends when you get in a relationship? No, 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 no. Okay, so you still would go out of your way to spend quality time with your friends, though, right? I would, but there's differences, though. I would, I would, I would. I don't know. No, nah, I, I know, I know that if I was dating somebody and like my homegirl from like way back when came mm-hmm. into town, I don't know if I'd necessarily be like, oh, let's go grab dinner. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. But why? Why is like? Why is like? Okay, would it be different if it was lunch? Maybe lunch, but even then, I'd be like, "Oh, come meet my, come meet my homegirl." You know what I mean to my girlfriend. Yeah. I'd say like, "Oh, I want you guys to meet." You got like, she would love you. you know so, what I mean? I, so my boyfriend had to meet you before me and him could hang out. No, no, it's not like he has to meet you, but it's like, oh, extend, it's not extend that, it's the not invite. Extend honestly, the invite. I want my, I want my, like, I, I don't, I, I can't date a person that my friends don't like. First of mm-hmm, all, for sure. So like, I would want my boyfriend to meet, but it's like, okay, I haven't seen them in like a year and a half. Like, we just want to like key just us like like old times okay okay look if it's you specifically i feel like i'd be more okay with it because you are extremely friendly i know yeah. that like it'd be chilling it'd be chilling friendly friendly <laughs> you gotta call me a slut no whoa, whoa. <laughs> you why are you trying to twist my word? words you try to twist my words no 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 because just because i know that you be vibing with anybody yeah i'd be chilling with it but it's just like there's certain scenarios where i'm like why does okay. he want to see you one-on-one next, next you scenario know? let's say uh let's say Again, okay, my guy friend comes into town. We go out. We're at the bar. We're drinking. You know what I'm saying? Having a good time. He spends the night in my house. Would that make you mad? Is he sleeping on the couch? Yeah. I'm chilling with it. Okay. I wouldn't mind it. So, you're not, so okay, what if what if you are at, at the bar and like your girlfriend's being friendly and she's like, 
You know what I'm saying? She's not trying to like talk to dudes, but like guys are coming up to her and she's just like being friendly and being nice and not being like, would you still feel some type of way? Or would you want her to like spit on him? If she no, 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 I don't, I don't ever okay, look, this is the way I say it. I don't ever believe for a girl to like spit on a dude to say like what the f or anything like mm-hmm. that. Cause I know some dudes can be scary sometimes. Yeah. And I've seen this it. This is why I'm in love with you. You see, I, the, this, the, this is the thing though. See, like I've seen it with like my sister, like my cousins, because I grew up in mm-hmm. a household like full of women. Like my cousin lived with us for a long time and she's a big feminist, right? Mm-hmm. And also being friends with like Madhu and Cynthia for so long, like you see things that you would never see if you didn't have mm-hmm. close homegirls, right? So touching on that, do you think it would be beneficial for especially straight men to... S- to actually seek out real female friendships? 100 million percent. Just because, like, people always talk about, like, if you're a man, like, having that sister, you're able to tap into, like, your feminine side or, like, mm-hmm. see that feminine side on like, on, like, women, right? But the thing is, is, like, with homegirls, you go outside with them. You can have those conversations with them that you can't have with your And you like, get to boys. see the shit live. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not going to lie. Before, I was like, oh, if I... Uh, Try hitting on a girl and she told me, I have a boyfriend. I'm chilling. I'm going the other direction, right? Mm-hmm. But when you have homegirls, you see that dude that's like, I wasn't even trying to do nothing. Why are you being weird, right? Yeah. And then they're like, I'm, I just have a boyfriend. It's like, dude, what the f- is your problem? They're trying to get up in their yeah. face. And it's like, it's like, you see it. You see it mm-hmm. a lot. So. I remember like, I was talking to one of my guy friends one time. We were back in college. And then like, I was telling him like about like a time like I got like sexually assaulted or whatever. You know, if you're a girl, hey. It happens to the best of us. and But that's how that, even just me saying it like that, like, it's so, like, f- but it's so common. Like, if you talk to any girl, like, really, like, she's probably been sexually assaulted. Oh, 100%. Like, sexually assaulted, groped, like, taken advantage yeah. of, anything like that. And I was talking to my guy friend one time. He was like, bro, it's actually sick because you're, like, my fifth girlfriend to tell me that some weird shit that happened to you. And it's like, that, like, being, I feel like a lot of straight men that, like, low-key hate women, they just think we just be bitching and moaning just to yep. bitch and moan. Yep. But once you, like, are a woman in society that is male-dominated and you can, like, get, and it, and then it only matters, when it doesn't only matter, but it, like, it's more important that you're genuinely the girl's friend. Yep. And you genuinely care about her. Like, yep. you're not just, like, trying to be the girlfriend so you can her eventually. Exactly, exactly. But, like, exactly. once you're genuine friends with a girl and you, like, can see the other side, mm-hmm. I feel like it opens you up because, like, that's somebody that you like genuinely care about. Yep. And then you see it happen on multiple occasions. Like, wait a minute. Nah, dude. Some of y'all are weird. It is. No, seriously. Because we also talked about this like on our podcast too, mm-hmm. about how like you never really know how weird dudes can get or like that whole like. Until you see them around women, bro. Until you, or, or like I said, or you, you have like that. Like I remember I was talking about this one dude and I was like, oh, that's a cool dude. And one of the homegirls was kind of like, nah, like he ain't cool. Like he's done like this. Like he says this, he talks like this. And I'm like, huh. Like I never really thought about that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or like, I never really like saw that. And then the next time I see the dude, I'm like, holy shit, you're weird. Yes. You know what I mean? I'm like, you yes. are weird. And then it's like, it's like certain things, like they don't have to do anything like outlandish, but even like certain things a guy will say, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Double back on that. Right. Yeah. I'm like, what did you, what did wait, you just say? Wait dude, a minute. It is the funniest shit, especially cause like uh, all, like all my guy, guy friends were all the same. Like we've mm-hmm. all grown up. With, Y'all like, are such bros. a sweet group of guys. So, but that's the fun, funny thing is like whenever there's a weird dude around, we hit each other. We just hit a, <laughs> like, what the f- it's just like that. Now a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors today at HelloFresh. It's time for a stress-free holiday season. This winter, we're skipping the grocery store and saving time with easy, tasty recipes delivered right to your door, all with the help of HelloFresh. I think it's finally time for a season of saving. And with HelloFresh, you can actually save money this month with fresh recipes delivered right to your doorstep. HelloFresh is way cheaper than takeout. Is it just me or do you guys also forget to use up all your groceries you buy? I'm constantly wasting money on food that I never get around to eating, but with HelloFresh, they supply you with pre-proportioned ingredients so you'll never waste money on excess food. Also, this holiday season, with HelloFresh, you have the ability to auto automatically step up your hosting skills when you show up with one of HelloFresh's mouth-watering charcuterie boards or Instagram-worthy desserts. Y'all, I'm not a good chef. Uh, But with HelloFresh's help, it has never been easier to just add one of their many party pleasers to my weekly order, saving me so much time from having to go out and find stuff. HelloFresh has over 45 recipes and more than 100 seasonal add-on items to choose from every week. It's never been easier finding something you will enjoy. Recently, I've been trying their breakfast options and y'all, it genuinely makes me feel like I am a professional chef. I've really been loving their pb and oatmeal, avocado and pineapple salsa, breakfast toast. I'm telling y'all, you can up your chef game and you can save money, you can save some time. It's a triple win. All you have to do is go to hellofresh.com slash free and use code free for free breakfast for life. 
one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash Fanita Free with code Fanita Free. Come find out why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Sorry, I have to circle back. Why have you never had a girlfriend? I don't know. I've come close like a couple times, but like... I think I'm a very like self-destructive person when it comes to like relationships. Yeah. You think you're a self-sabotager? Yeah, I think when things start getting like extremely comfortable, I get like extremely scared. Why? I don't know. I re I really couldn't tell you. Like I've literally tried to sat like sit and think about it. Like I've had conversations with girls about it, but like it's just weird. And same thing with like opening up about like my feelings and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like they'll open up, I'm there for them, I'll listen to them, I'll like comfort them and everything. But when it comes my way, I'm just kind of like I just, I kind of like shut down. Like, I'll talk about what's going on in my mm -hmm. life, but, but I don't you talk, talk about, about how you feel. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nick, I want you to know you can always come to me. I will. Like, seriously. Okay. You can always talk to me about anything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. About, like, our future or, or how you feeling. What yeah. is our future? Uh, I hope that one day you realize that I'm also a catch and that one day you'll just give me a fair chance. Because, like, you know, my online persona, like, that's not me. Uh-huh. Like, you know, it's not uh -huh. me. Uh-huh. Like, how I talk is me, but, like, I'm just friendly. I'm just a flirt. I got voted biggest flirt in high school. Like, I've been like this. This ain't this ain't on me. This is in me. See, and that's where my insecurities would come into play. And but, I'd be but, like, but, I can't but, date but, a flirty girl. Keep, no, no. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The thing about me is... Like if you know me as a person, and if you're like my like like my friend, and you know me like personally, I am loyal to my core. That is true. That like is true. I am so loyal, and I like want to be in love, and I want to have a partner, and I want to build a future. That I know that one, it's hard for me to like like people, and mm. it's hard for me to like connect to people. Sometimes I just get bored easy I'm too. Same way. Sometimes I get bored really quick, but like. The guys that I have, like, genuinely like, like, I like them, like, no matter what. Like, I'm the type that, like, if I start talking to a guy and I like him, I'll immediately start talking to everybody else. Okay. Like, I'm a one-woman girl. Like, and then also, like, talking to multiple people at the same time is just exhausting. Yeah, I can get I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't have eight arms to text. You know what I'm saying? That's just too much. And then it's also, like, I don't care about y'all. Like, I care about you and I care about, like, making something with you happen. But also, I feel like while I haven't had a boyfriend, I think men are intimidated by me. You, th you know what? I, I can see that though. Cause you are a very like outgoing, like everything's on the table. Yeah. Right? Like everything's on the table. And I think it can, like some dudes are just like, whoa, you get what I mean? Yeah. But that's not a bad thing though. It's it not isn't. a bad thing, but it makes me feel bad and it makes me feel like I have mm -hmm. to like tone down my personality. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I haven't. No, <laughs> don't, but I know you haven't, but like don't ever think about that. Like yeah. toning down like something about you just for a dude. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, but what's it called? That's. You think that that's the only reason why you never had a, like you never come close or anything like that, and then some I shit mean, happened. If I mean, also I have standards. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I explain this? Like, if I'm just like with you, like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to have like all my qualities. We just like with you, mm -hmm. but like to be my boyfriend, like for me to like call you my boyfriend and for the public to know about you, yeah. you got to be a ten out of ten. Like, it can't be no sketchy shit going on. Okay. Like, you have to like. Be a, like, be my type type mm -hmm. shit, but also like you have to be funny. You have to be talkative. You have to be personable. You have to be fun, smart, knowledgeable. Like you have to like care about human rights mm -hmm. and like you know what I'm saying. You can't have any isms or the obics. Like it's it's strict around here. <laughs> isms or the obics. <laughs> yes. So it's like you can't have any of that shit either. So it's like a lot of guys don't make don't don't fit the bill. See, you know what's weird though, especially here in LA. There's like a lot of the dudes are exactly what you don't want. Yes, mm -hmm. 100%. They're they're just like, they're weird. The guys, yep. in, the guys in LA are weird. Also, I want a guy that like, I want a guy that likes women. I don't want a guy that's just attracted to women because- That's a weird take. I've never heard about that before. I feel like a lot of men are attracted to women sexually, but they don't like women. That's why you hear men being like, bro, like, let me come over, man. The wife's a bitch tonight. Like, oh. I don't really want to go home. I want to have a man cave. I don't really want to spend time with my wife. Oh, my wife wants to go on a picnic, bro. I hate women. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are guys that, like, literally are married to people or are dating women that they don't like. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't find... Do you, do you ever see that tweet of... On Twitter where it was like, oh, that stage, you start hating your girlfriend and it had like 500,000 likes. I don't think I saw it. It was, an, it was an insane tweet and everybody's in the comments like, yeah, bro, like I hate my girlfriend right now. And it's like a lot of, but I feel like guys who don't like, like women as yeah. people, yeah. they don't try to understand the struggles of being a mm -hmm. woman. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They're just like, no, babe, it's not like that. Same thing with like white people and like dating somebody black. Like I'd also have to, if I date somebody non-black, I have to like date someone who understands what yep. it's like to be black and a woman. Yep. You know what I mean? So like, if you ain't fitting that criteria, you can't get with me. But yep. you're my type, Nick. <laughs> you know, no, wait, there's a lot I want to unravel in what you just said okay. though. Because like, 
that's interesting that you say that because do you think it's because a lot of guys don't like immerse themselves with like girls and stuff like that in the sense of like I just want to be your friend or like what are your exactly, problems? Exactly. Yes, a lot of guys and let's be let's be let's be a hundred right mm-hmm. now. Nine times out of ten, like obviously there are guys that are genuine friends with their girlfriends, mm-hmm. and there are guys, there are guys that are genuine friends with their girlfriends, but also those same guys, given an opportunity, would f- their like f- their like female friend or whatever. Yeah, I feel like it's very like slim to like meet guys that like not nah, like it's just you twin like yeah. you know what I'm saying, and I feel like if if guys just went. Into because like nine times out of ten, if a guy wants to be cool with you, we know what's going on. Exactly. Now I can agree with that, but let me ask you a question: How do you think that gets fixed? Do you think that's with the parents? Do you think that's with the guy of himself? I think that's, what do you think bro, it is? I think that's just like the system. Mm-hmm. Like I think that's just like the deep rooted misogyny that we have in the world, society, and the the pay gap, yep. women's rights. Like it's we got we would go have we we have to go back in time and yeah. change history. Okay, you got a point. You got a point. Like, you got a point. There are always gonna be men that just don't. With women, yeah. like, and it, bro, it would be scary when like something violent happens to a woman, and then guys are like, "Well, yeah. what did she do?" Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Like, even with the like, Kiki Palmer situation going on, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody knew it was weird when he made that tweet when she was at the Usher concert. Everybody was like, "Wait a minute!" Like, she's Kiki Palmer. He's Usher. Clearly, this is for Key. Mm-hmm. She's out with the girls having fun. Like, this ain't no thing. And he made that tweet. That was stupid of him to do. That was crazy that he did that. When he made that tweet, women were like, red flag, red flag, red flag. Men were like, no, he's just defending his family. No, like, he just wants his family back. Like, no, he's right. Like, she's a mom. She should be, she shouldn't be dressing like this at a at a Usher concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Vegas. Yeah, yeah. And so women immediately when that happened, women were like, hey, y'all, that was weird. Men were like, no, it wasn't. Now it comes out that he is abusive and he was abusing her and choking her and putting his hands on her like women probably uh, uh, alluded to. Yeah. And now men are like, wait, can I see the full video of what oh happened? They could be just hugging from the back. No way. Yes, it's been on Twitter. It's like, they've been like, well, what did she do? And that shit is alarming. And then what's even more alarming about social media is that I feel like people think that they're invisible, mm-hmm. but you're not. That, they got some like balls. your sister, yeah, yeah, yeah. your sister seeing you retweet this shit. Yep, yep. Like we can all we can all see you. We, we yep. know where you stand. Same thing. Or if they like it or some shit, I'm like, I can see this, yeah, bro. I'm like, like, they're like, nah. It's like through a, it's through a screen. Like no one's gonna find out. It's like, nah. yeah. And then that's when I be I be peeping game. It's weird. Nikki, tell me about your ideal first date so I can plan it. My ideal first date. It, so this is they're planning it for me or I'm, I'm planning, planning it. Yeah, you're planning. Oh, you're yeah, planning. I'm it gonna for take me. you out. All right. My ideal first date. I'm a big beach boy. Like I'm a beach boy and I'm a, mm. I'm, a, I'm a snowboarder, so it's it's one yeah. of the two. It's got to be by the beach. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily have to be like on the sand, like picnic, but someplace mm-hmm. nice by the beach. Maybe it's like maybe it's like a little early. Maybe it's like 11 a.m. Okay. We're getting bottomless mimosas. Yeah. We having breakfast. We t- we having good conversations. This is so. It, I'm like a, Nick. We should just do this. I'm, I'm maybe <laughs> maybe we should maybe we should. But I'm saying no, like let's 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 like really. Hey. Should we just end the podcast right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Nick, any time to spend any alone time with you, I would literally t- say f- them and like, I, I'm doing whatever you want to do. Like, Nick, you just don't understand. Like, we could really have something. Oh, really? Yeah. So we just not twins? Because you, you called me twin a couple times. Yeah, but that's like on like on some joking. You know mm, how you know what I'm saying? Mm, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but hold up. All right. So we got the beach. We got mimosas. And then obviously we be landing it straight to the water right yeah. afterwards. So we're gonna set up. We might be a little tipsy and we might be getting hit by the waves, mm-hmm. stuff like that. We can get our tan on. That sounds so romantic. I can mm-hmm. already see like the montage of like in the water, like splashing mm-hmm. each other and laughing. Mm-hmm. That sounds so yeah. cute. Drive back home, we getting in and out because we're gonna be starving. Yeah. And then we just we taking a nap. Just straight together? Straight. Yeah, yeah, why not? Straight to the bed, taking a nap, wake up, all groggy and shit. And who knows what happens next? You know what I love doing? What? I love playing house. Playing house is it's fun. fun. No, it's playing fun. House is it's so fun. fun. Like I love like when I go out with a guy and like we we have a great night, wake up, go get breakfast, yeah. like take a shower together. Yeah. And it's like, this is this It's is nice. Great. It's nice. So then the next day or like a couple days later, you're like, um, I don't really like you though. Yeah. I like the whole like what we doing. Yeah. I don't really like you though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would like to do this again, but someone that's not you. <laughs> You read my mind. Sometimes, sometimes it's like that, but nah, playing house is so much fun. Yeah, playing house is fun as And then it's not fun anymore when they're like, what are we? Mm. 
I thought we was just kicking it. You get hit, you, you you get hit with that sometimes. Yeah, too? it's like oh, what is this? <laughs> you asking questions you don't want to answer to. But either you might you might just be the the girl version of me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I think yeah. Together, you know what? Like... I'm getting. I'm, I'm telling you now though. Yeah. We would clash. I don't we, think so. I think we would. I don't dude. think so because I'm a good communicator. Mm, okay, I'm I'm not. I'm not. Nick, I just told you earlier. I don't even be opening up. But okay, so like, okay, if we had a problem, like, and I tried to talk to you about it, you, you wouldn't hear me out, or you would hear me I'd out. I'd hear you, you just out. Would... I'd hear you out. I would, I would totally understand everything. But like, the second you were like, "All right, well, how do you feel?" I'd be like, "I'm good. Like, I'm chilling." I, I'd be like that. Oh, see, maybe it's because we grew up different. <laughs> maybe. Like, I grew up like in a, I grew up in a house where I never had a voice, and I never could like say how I feel, and mm -hmm. I was like always like silenced pretty much. So I feel like with like with me now, bro. There's a fire that inflames my heart if there's something on my chest and yeah. I can't say it. Like it, like I, it gives me anxiety. Like there's something that I want to say to somebody if somebody like made me mad or I want to address something. Oh, you, like I have to. Oh, so you don't even do like the the twenty four hour rule or like uh, you're saying hell no. Nah, like Damn. I this made me like, it, but I don't come off as like F you. Like I'm just like yeah, hey like this because happened. of yeah because of this this this. So you would just be like oh yeah we chilling yeah okay. Are you just nonchalant? Like, are, are you genuinely good or you just don't want to, like, keep it egging and all? I think, like, I'll be I'll be good. But, like, the, the whole thing is, like, it depends. So, if it's something that, like, you really care about or you mm -hmm. feel strongly about and I'm kind of just, I'm like, whatever's about it. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to hear you out, let you do your thing. Even if it's, like, bothered me a little bit, mm -hmm. I'm okay. Like, the situation's over, conversation's over. Yeah. Like, we are chilling. You are, we are good now. Mm -hmm. I'm done. But like, if something's bothering me though, I am like, I, I do sweep things under the rug like a lot. Why? I don't know. I don't is know. it? Are you scared of confrontation? Yeah. So that's what that's what the mm. whole the whole joke on the podcast too is that I'm scared of confrontation. That makes a lot of sense. See, I <laughs> my man said no pickles. <laughs> I'm, I'm super really? confrontational. Yeah. Oh no, they give me pickles. They give me everything that I didn't want. I I'm like, thank you so much. I don't let anything slide. You know what? I have an older friend. She's she's 32. Amber, I love you. Being friends with Amber and being friends with somebody that's older in my 20s has been such a blessing because she's always told me, she said, like, you have to sweat the small stuff. Mm. Because if you sweat the small stuff, then people know that they can't f with you with the big shit. Uh. So if something happens that's even, like, small, nip that shit in the bud. Like, you got you to gotta correct it early on because if you just let shit, like, slide, the more and more you let slide, then eventually when they do something that's, like, really f***ed up, yeah. you have a whole and laundry list uh, yeah. of things that have pissed you off yeah. and it makes you more angry about the situation at hand. But if you had just addressed, because I feel like a lot of, I feel like a lot of like confrontations and a lot of arguments stem from nobody saying anything. Yeah, the little things adding up. Exactly. Sure. So I feel like I'm going to address it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We're going to get it out, we're going to get it out the way. But, but also like, I'm also very receptive to like how people feel. Like if you're somebody that I love and you're constantly around me and you're in my circle, I want you to feel like utmost comfortable. Yeah. And it actually irritates me when people feel like they can't yeah. talk to me. Yeah. Because I am very like dramatic and like over the top and like animated. So sometimes people think like, oh, if I say this to Fanita, like she'll get mad. But I'm actually a really rational and logical person. No, yeah. yeah. I can 100% see that. So 100%. it's like, when, once you come to me, like if I did something, and then the thing is I have no problem I didn't, this this took some growth, but now as an adult, I have no problem recognizing when I was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type of person that even if I don't feel like what I did was wrong, if it hurt you, then it was. Exactly. Like a lot of things for me are about like intent, like impact over intent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like if I said something and like it was just a joke to me, but you took it mm -hmm. offensive, I'm going to apologize. It's like, I don't ever want to offend somebody that I love. Like I want like everybody to know that I love them and I never want to hurt your feelings. Yep. So that's why I'm confrontational. All right, Nikki. <laughs> Wait, real quick, before we go, you say nip that shit in the bud? Yeah. Is it bud or butt? Bud, you freak hoe. It's, it's not butt? No. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. I, I've so said freaky. nip that shit in the butt for like my entire life. You're so freaking. Okay. All right. <laughs> Nikki, you're like, like, okay, like, no bullshit aside, podcast aside, you're so handsome. Thank like, you. Like, I feel like you don't get gassed up, like, gassed up enough on the pie. I think you are so just pretty. Like, I think you're so gorgeous. You want to know who they're gassing up on the pod? My f***ing dad. The girls are in love with my dad. Damn. Yeah. What yeah. do you look like? Look like my dad. What you mean? You look like your dad? I, I look like him like a little bit, but he, I mean, he's losing his hair. I still mm. got on my hair, but like the girls, it's it's so it's super funny too, cause like he came over for my birthday mm -hmm. when we were in Newport. That I wasn't invited to, but I invited him to my birthday. Oh, but we invited you to the club, but you didn't come. Wait, uh, I had something to do. 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 Did had you let us know? Ah, uh, nah, this is a two also, way street. Also, 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 this is a two way also, street. Also, also, 
Don't just send a flyer. Am I on a list? Is there a guest list? Yes. Is there tickets? Is yes. There... Oh. Yes. Everything. We had a whole party bus. Wait, 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 wait. Then I did find out that it was in Fullerton. It wasn't in Fullerton. It was like 40 minutes away from Fullerton. It was a long drive. Yeah. So I was like, that's like a crap. <laughs> like the Uber there and back. Yeah. It would have nah, been. It was in LA. If it was in LA, yeah, then you know, I'd if, be, if it was yeah. in LA, I'd be 100% gone. But then I figured, fig- because I thought when y'all sent the flyer, it was in LA. So that's why I was like, oh, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. in there. And then I read the flyer and I was like, oh. This is in Narnia. <laughs> nah, it was literally in the love, middle of nowhere. Love them, but hey, <laughs> like that's crazy. Next time though, you gotta come because it's it so, lit? so much fun. There's yeah, so right. much fun. I, I really wanted to go. I was like, oh yeah, that, I knew this is gonna be lit. Because sometimes I'll get invited to shit. I'm like, I know this ain't hitting on shit, but I knew y'all was gonna be lit. Yeah, or you should try something like that too. Nikki, do you have a type? Nah. And be serious. Okay, okay. Be serious. Okay, look. So I don't think I got a type because I've seen people from like all different races, like different heights, like different eyes, everything, right? But like my friends think that my type is when girls like look a little like something's different about them. Like either they have a bigger nose or bigger mm-hmm. eyes or like big ears or like big lips, mm-hmm. but they're like something sticks out. Oh, I have big lips. No, I can tell. I've been looking at them. <laughs> you guys, I am only so strong. I am only, I'm a goddamn soldier. I am only so f- strong. There's no way. <laughs> Salute in the motherfucking comments. Nick, you don't understand though. I really have a crush on you. You do? Seriously. For how long? Since you met me? Yes. So how come you turn around and start hitting on Sage David? Because you had another girl you was going to see. Hey, but you the one that said earlier, oh, if I got a crush on somebody, if I like you, everyone goes out the window. But also, also, mm. I'm not a stupid bitch. I'm not about to get chase a dude that's going to go see another girl. Like, Okay, valid. Okay, valid. valid. I, I have yeah, standards. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you give you, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll but give I, literally, the I literally have such a big crush on you. Like, literally, that's why I'm always so... You think I'm that excited to see everybody? That is true. It, they, the uh, guys have said, they're like, why, do, why does she always like run to you? Why does she never run to us? Because I love... Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're my main. Like, <laughs> I love you bad. Would you ever date a fan? <laughs> Go. Mm, I don't know. Cause like when you say fan, like, like I'm talking about she fanned out. Groupie. Okay, so like I meet her and she's like, oh my god, she's freaking out. And then like maybe she's like really pretty and I like want to take her out on a date and yeah. then figure out. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I I I wanna say no, but low key, I be getting like infatuated with people like extremely fast. Yeah. And I feel like you will let it slot. Yeah. I, I feel like at some point, I might just be like, oh, she probably just, she's just really cool. The only problem I have with dating somebody, like, I don't, I would date somebody that just knew me. Like, oh, oh yeah, I've, sure. seen, I've seen your content or whatever, but I couldn't date someone that was fanned out because it's like, you just f- with me because I'm finita. Exactly. You're not f- with me because I'm me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, I don't like that. No, I can agree with that. Um, do you think social media has ruined our ability to find real love? <sighs> yeah. I think because... There's too many options on Way social media. Way too many. There's too many options. Like, you, and that's, and that's the problem dating in LA. Everybody thinks that they can do better. So it's like, first of all, you work at Best Buy. Not too much. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's that's like how everybody operates. And social media is the same thing. Yep. Like, oh, wait, I just seen this pretty girl do a thirst trap. Wait, this pretty girl, this girl's pretty. Wait, this girl's pretty. Wait, this girl's, mm-hmm. this girl's funny. This girl's sexy. This girl does this. this and, then, and you know what I'm saying? It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Not, but that's the one thing that like I've learned or like people have told me is kind of like, if you're looking for some like the best of the best, they're like someone's always gonna be better. Yeah, there's always gonna be a better. There's always gonna be a smarter. There's mm-hmm. always gonna be a more athletic. There's mm-hmm. always gonna be a, a that got a better body. There's always gonna be a that has a prettier smile, a, a better laugh. Like there's there's always gonna be better aspects about people. But the question you have to ask yourself: Are those people better for me? Exactly. Exactly. Because there are a lot of girls that I see and a lot of guys, bro. Fine boys be so corny, bro. They be corny, dude. Oh my God. Sometimes when I'm bored, I read through Madu's DMs and I'm like, this dude is a 10 out of 10. Why is he saying this line? Yes, bro. Oh my God. Fine dudes, like when I've talked to like really like sexy dudes, like I'm talking about like top models, they are the most boring, uninteresting person ever. Like it, it like makes me mad and I feel like like so like yeah he might be fine but and I feel like it'd be pissing me off when people are like when people are like oh would you would you date him no like yeah you look good but I can't talk to, I can't talk to him about my high thoughts like you know what I'm saying ain't nothing cranking behind those eyes nope. like nope. be on live like oh thanks for the gift <laughs> oh I'm I got pretty eyes thank you 
<laughs> I'm just gonna play the game. I like uh, 2K. Oh hell, you've studied them. I have. You have studied <laughs> them. I have like the most dry. Oh, you look good. Appreciate you. <laughs> like, and they're no fun, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, they're no fun. Like, I definitely love like a sassy man, a man that has like a big personality, a man that has curly hair and thick eyebrows and a goatee. You think I'm sassy? Yeah, you're sassy as f nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've come to learn that I am. You are sassy, yeah. but like sassy guys are in. Finally, <laughs> finally, I can love sassy men out loud. I love a man that talk back. I love a man to be like, "Girl, f you." See, why do you think? Why do you think a lot of girls are like, don't like the sassy man apocalypse? The society, <laughs> society, because we've been told that like masculinity is what makes a man. Mm -hmm. Men being masculine, just providers, is what makes for a good man. No, I want my I want my man to go back and forth. Like I want us to go get our toes done. Like I like for my man to like laugh and kiki and mm -hmm. send me TikToks and like think it's funny. Like I feel like. Oh man, me and sassy men go together real bad. Like every guy I talk to is sassy. Really? Yeah, sassy as. I feel like is. I can see you with a sassy man. Yeah, because I makes like sense. I like a challenge. Yeah, like, I like somebody that's gonna like we gonna play tug of war. Yeah, like, I don't because I feel like if I date anybody that's not sassy, like if I date like a super like first of all I don't like super masculine men mm -hmm. because they're boring. Mm -hmm. Like I can't slap your ass without it being like something else. Like, and they start freaking out, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's like. Something internal's happening. But you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't want you to put makeup on me. I don't want you to do my, your skincare on me. Like, hey. whoa. Um, oh. Are you Mr. Granada? I am. Ooh. Hi, my name is Ben Jagannoff, and I'm here with the uh, Feral Law Forum. We, uh, we have to serve you with some documents today from your fellow castmates of Suburban Times. <laughs> what? <Talks. laughs> Nick, what the f? So, uh, your castmates of Suburban Talks, don't show the camera because uh, it is legal documents, so. Uh, well, as far as who are you? Um, I'm part of a Feral Law Firm, and I'm here from his fellow podcast mates. They actually, they think you haven't been serving enough on the podcast, so they wanted me to come serve you these documents and let you know there's no need to show up to the next recording, and uh, we'll see you in court. <laughs> Bae, you just got fired. What just happened? <laughs> you just got fired. I just got fired from my own podcast? Yes. How that happen? Beats me. <laughs> Group chat about to go crazy right now. I'm about to text him right now. What? You gonna be on your Disney and watch this shit? Y'all gonna do this to me? Y'all gonna do you gonna this? You gonna see me, me on live soon? Y'all gonna see me on live soon? On oh, God. Nikki, 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 put it in my kidney. Did you, did you make that up right now? Yeah. Well, you know what's from um from the Nicki Minaj and Two Chainz song. Nikki, 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 put it in your kidney. Got a new LS for fifty. Ain't no keys in this shit. Hickey. If it wasn't rapping, I'd be trapping. If it wasn't trapping, I'd be getting it. If it wasn't, I'd be getting it. Period. I don't smoke no Molly, but my dino came from Ricky. Nice. Uh, oh my God. What, uh, what, what the, what the what f is that? Bees in the trap. Uh, bees in the trap. Bees, bees, bees in, in the, the trap. trap. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 But yeah, Damn, Nikki, you Nikki, like that. Would you ever put it in my kidney, or both of them? I would give you a kidney. I would really? do anything for you. You give me a kidney? I would do anything for you. Really? Yeah. What if I was you be like, with bro? Be real. Yeah. Damn. What a bitch like I got my own, I got my own shit. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. Just like like how that belt's real, right? Oh, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> oh my god, I told you that off camera. I told you that off camera. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. What? My fault, my fault. That's my fault. I thought fault. I was opening. First of all, you literally stole what I was wearing. You wanna be like me. You want to be like me? You want to be? I just do a little bit better. Please. <laughs> Hold on. Now I have to eat them up. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. Yeah, don't ever try me like that. That's my fault. That's my fault. Don't ever think. If me and you date, you'll never be a bad bitch. I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Nixie, you have the personality type of men that like I fall in love with. Yeah? Yeah. I love men like you. Like, like I, <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm dick sucking right now and I'm glazing, but like you just have... Like the personality type that like I'm always like drawn to in men. Like I love just like outgoing, pretty ass boys. Like thank you, I appreciate that. I'm telling you now though, you have one night with and like all of my friends all hanging out. You'd be in love with all the guys because they all just like me. I don't think so. You don't think so? They don't have they don't have like that, mm, yeah they don't, they don't have, that. have that spark. <laughs> like you smile with a twinkle. All right, babes, do you think you give good advice? I think I give pretty good advice. You give advice all the time, actually. I you have a, do. Pre a professional advice giver. So it's time for Fanita's Fan Fictions, where you guys call in and ask me questions. Do we have a call on the line? Hello? Hey, Fanita. My name is Tyra. I'm from Virginia. Girl, I'm I don't need to know all that. I wanted to ask for us 
absolute sluts out there. What is your go-to technique when giving head? Like, where do you start? Are you a girly that, like, tip, ball? What you giving, girly? Like, let us girls know. You know, clearly, clearly, you know, here's the thing. You guys are only as good as me. And that call just showed me that I haven't been being a good leader. I haven't been leading you guys on the path of righteousness. And I want to apologize for straying y'all this far from the light. Yeah, I, I had to take accountability here. Um, but since you asked, uh, I like to start. <laughs> you, know, you know something funny I like to do? <laughs> what do you like to do? <laughs> I think this is funny. But um, sometimes I like sucking the dick when it's soft. Because I like feeling it get hard in my mouth. I've heard this before. Um, and I, I started the tip. You know what I'm saying? I started the tip, worked my way down the shaft. You know, fondle the balls as I'm doing that. And then suck the balls. Um, but maybe next time, start with hi. Hello. How was your day, Vanita? <laughs> nah, the <laughs> fact that she came in with just, I for all my slut. I was like, what are we doing? And, and like I said, you guys are a product of, of your leader. And, and I can't be mad at you. But God damn, you all are horny. Here you go, Nikki. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so distraught. This is my turn? Yeah, yeah. You can answer the phone. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Right. Hey, guys. Hi, Nick. Hi. I had a question for you. I wanted to know, would you ever consider making solo content again? Just with the boys? Because I was an OG. Oh, she a hater. She hate them bitches. Of the group. <laughs> Not just the, the podcast. Even though I love the podcast. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Bye. Maru and Cynthia, that don't f*** with you. <laughs> Can you go back to this making content with the boys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, I see you. Oh my god, I'm about to clip this shit and send it to the girls. Oh my god. Nah, she was asking if I'd ever do solo content again, she said with the boys. With the boys, with yeah. With the boys. I don't know, maybe, but like, um, I do like the perspective that the girls give us. Like mm -hmm. every time we do anything, like whether it's like a regular video or like a podcast, um, I think we and I think we've all literally grown to like love those girls. And mm -hmm. I feel like they're they we they we literally call them like one of the boys. Like yeah. they're one of the boys at this point. So mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe, but I think for right now though, uh you I like think things, the girls are gonna be sticking around. Yeah, you like yeah. the way you like the way the things are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're a little hating ass, I'm just trying to be messy. <laughs> no, he <laughs> with them hoes a long way. Hello. Bonita! Hey babe. I fing love you, girl. I love okay. you too. I came here to give you the tea. So I've been f with this boy for over a year and a half. And it's just been real messy sh the whole time. Like, I thought I was having his baby. Turns out it was my ex's. But that's besides the point. So anyway, the last few months, we've been beefing, okay? So like, two months ago, he cut me off. Like, for real. Like, he meant business. Two months ago, okay? I was going insane. So I went to his house, and I told him, hey, for it and egged him. And then he unblocked me. And we started talking again, like, two weeks ago. So we planned to hang out this weekend, and when I went, the whole vibe was just different. I did not feel the same spark that I've been feeling for the last almost two years. I know. I know. I shouldn't have went, but I did. So anyway, boom, we and then I left. I went home, like, right after that. I was there for, like, 40 minutes. Anyway, we sat at it for, like, two days after that, and then he blocked me. So I texted his number, and I was like, you can keep me blocked with your bipolar ass. And then he was like, I was planning on it. I don't with you. You're just another hoe to me and always will be. And then block my number too. My question is, what do you think I should do? Like, obviously, I should move on and just heal from this whole ordeal that has went down. But I need to get the last word. I need the last word. So how do I get the last word? What just happened? What? Dear Father God, we come to you as humbly as we you know how, asking that you rebuke the Delulu from some of these women that call into my podcast. I know, Father God, that this is my fault and I've been a terrible leader. And I promise you, Father God, that I will try to live, live on the path of righteousness. But if you do want to get the last word, get a Google number, get a Google voice number, and then text his number. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You got us less than bitches. Okay, we're going to do one more. That is hilarious, dude. All right, last one. Get a Google number and what? And text, and text them. That's how I got one of my bays unblock me. <laughs> I said, bae, don't stop doing this. You love me. Unblock me, bae. I literally texted him on a group. I texted him on a Google number. And he unblocked me. Oh, my God. You have something else, Fanita. I, hey, if, it's, if that's mine, I'm going to chase it. That's true. Hi, Fanita. So, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. Okay, so I am 19. Okay. And this summer, me and my friends did Hot Girl Summer, okay. and I did basically 
I don't want to say everything under the sun, but I did do a lot. And Work. I'm now talking to this guy while well, I still have like a whole roster. And we've been talking for like two months, so I feel like things are serious. And I'm just at like a crossroad because I have never had a boyfriend before, so I don't know if I should cut off this roster if I'm if I'm feeling things are serious, or if I should simply wait for him to like confirm things to cut off this roster. Because prior to this phone call, I linked up with somebody, but it's kind of eating at me because mm. I feel like he's not doing that, but I am. So mm. what should I do, if that makes sense? Thank you. You know, a lot of these problems are e- easily solved by just having a conversation. Right? I was about to say the <laughs> same thing. <laughs> just why, have the conversation. Why we got to wait for him? Why don't you say something? Yeah, just say how you just, 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 if y'all are like getting serious, then just say like, hey, we're getting serious and I don't really want you seeing other people and I'm not seeing other people and you know I want us to be on the same page and if he's like, well girl, I'm a f- other b- then f- him. Keep your roster. Yeah, keep your roster. It's, it's as simple as that. I feel like as women, like we're so like scared of rejection and we're so scared of like not hearing what we want to hear that we just like, well, I'm just going to wait till he says something. No, sometimes you got to take initiative, pull that thong up, pull that f- key string up, open that text message and say, nigga, what the f- we doing? And send it. You are preaching right now. Oh my God. I was the same way though when I was like back then. I used to be like, oh, I want to hear that. I'm scared. <laughs> you know, I had a I had a conversation with my with my friend, and this changed my entire perspective on like not saying anything. But I was having a, I was having a conversation with her. And she was like, you know, I think it's crazy that like some girls will have sex with guys they can't call to change a tire. Damn. Yeah, she, that was a bar. And ever since then. She was like, why are you having sex with people? Why are you having sex with men that you can't even, you scared to talk to? Damn. And I was like, that, that's real. That is real. I never thought about that. That's real. And then ever since then, I've had that planning. So like, yeah, I'm not like gonna date a guy or like be with a guy that I know that like I can't ask him if my flat tire, if he can come pick me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared to be like, well, I don't want to inconvenience it. No, no, bro. So stop talking to people that you are scared to talk to. That's like, that. like pointless. Nikki, so we have a new game that we're gonna play. Uh, of course, you're someone that has a lot of <sighs> riz, and you are very smooth and very attractive, and I am completely enamored by you. Um, we're gonna play a game called Ranking These Riz Field Opening Lines. Okay. Do you think you think you got good pickup lines? Honestly, I don't believe in pickup lines. I don't either. I don't. I, believe I think it's a vibe. I think I think unless like. You're doing it on some joke, like it's yeah, a also joke. joke cheesy. Shit, yeah. Then I'd say, but go for seriously, it. I'm not gonna lie. Seriously, like doing an opening line as a pickup line as an intro is crazy. Yeah, nah. I, you will never catch me doing a pickup line. You will catch me saying, "What's up?" Like, um, it's nice to meet you. Like, mm-hmm. what's your name? Blah, blah blah blah. And that's like all you need to do. Yeah, that's all you need all is just to talk. Yeah. All right. So first one is, are you a vape? Because I'd never use you. You want me to rate it like one through ten? Yeah. Are you a vape? Cause I'd never use you. Yeah. Dude, that's like a four. I do not <laughs> f- with that one. That one's like, yeah, I'll give that one about maybe, a four. Maybe maybe if you switch it to like, are you a vape? Cause I want to hit that. Then <laughs> I then I maybe I do like a seven, but like I'm gonna do a four for I'd never use you. Um, I don't play cars, but I feel like I'm about to pull a queen. Oh, that's a that's a nine. That's gas. <laughs> Yo, I f- with that. That's crazy. <laughs> that Wait, was say good. that one more time. I don't play cars, but I feel like I'm about to pull a queen. Oh, that's a nine. Write that down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to write that down very soon. <laughs> right after this. Okay. Are you my anxiety? Because my heart races every time I see you. Boo. Yeah, I'll give that like a, like a five, six. Yeah, five. I'm so mad at Spotify. I searched for the hottest single and you weren't there. Oh, f- I'm gonna give it. I'm, I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it was, creative. Well, that one... it's creative. It's creative. Okay, it's okay. creative. I'm gonna give it a seven. My phone is 4G, but my heart is for you. Seven. I'm gonna give it another seven. I'm gonna give it another seven. These are actually getting me a little bit. <laughs> Do you like soccer? Yeah. My favorite player is Ronaldo. So let's get a little messy. Ten. That, 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 was that, was ten. that was a ten. That I'll was a ten. ten. I'll give that one a ten. I'll give that one a ten. That was a banger. Damn. And that concludes our game. Nah, dude, this was extremely fun. This was. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite episodes I've this ever. This is filmed. extremely fun. But I knew, I knew, me and you were just have a key. Like I knew we'd be like oh, locked yeah. in. Yeah, I knew it'd be like so much chemistry. So, where does like the uh, the ranking of like this episode and the Vinny one like? 
How like what would you rate this? I don't want to get jumped, but I'm just I'm just saying. Like, no, what? I don't want to get jumped, but like. We just have we just have like we just have better banter. I'm just telling. It's like that. Yeah, like we just you know what I'm saying? We just kinda get each other. Yeah. It's almost like <laughs> we should take things to the next level. <laughs> Let's go steady. Let's walk down the street with our hands in each other's back pockets. That don't sound like fun to you? <laughs> Maybe you took off those goddamn docks, cause when I came in here you was three inches taller than me. And I, I was about to be like, I gotta you? go. I thought you're five eight. I'm five eleven. Nick, now that's a bold face lie. I'm 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 around. 5'8 to 5'11. I'm 5'8. Five I'm 5'8. Five nine. I'm 5'9. Five I'm 5'8 five and three quarters. Round it up, I'm about nine. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about shoes off after we cut so we can really. Because I think you lying to me, baby. I'm 5'8. Babe, I'm 5'8. Yeah, well, like, did I do my morning stretches though? <laughs> what? Like, did I wake up and did I stretch that morning? Like, that you gives you like a that? quarter of an inch? Yeah, it'll, it'll put some high on me. Get the bones loose. Get the Listen, legs going. Nick, I don't even. You know, this is, this is a super hot take. I personally. I'm gonna come clean. I love short kings. Really? I love boys that are short. What's the difference? Or oh, not the difference, but why do you like him better than tall men? Like you know, what I'm saying tall men got too much, uh, too much self confidence. Mm. Short guys know their place. You, oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I'm kidding, but like I, I've never really been a girl that cares about how tall my height, like how tall a man's height is, but there's a caveat to that. You have to be 5'8 or taller. Valid. So you have to be my height or taller. Valid. But yeah, I love, like, I just, I just be having fun with my short kings. Like, I love boys that are short. And girls, stop acting like y'all don't, y'all don't be giving them, them short kings play. Like, I hate how girls, like, I would never talk to a, yes, you would. But, yeah. And also, you're 4'11. Why do you need a guy that's six foot? Mm -hmm. Date the 5'3 boys, lead the 5'8 kings to me. <laughs> I'll handle that. But yeah, I like mostly, I don't, especially, I don't know if this is like in the water, but like a lot of guys in LA are short. So like, I like talk to like short guys all the time. Like as long as they're like 5'8", that's cool with me. What about back in Alabama? Same thing? Yeah. There's it like, a lot of short boys. But then mm -hmm. also sometimes like, I was literally talking, I made TikTok about this, but I feel like when you're a tall girl, it just makes it seem like you're so much taller yeah. than guys that are the same height. Yeah. That is true. That is true. We I at, think it's like a limb thing. Same thing, but when we were at that White Fox event, I was talking to you and I was like, oh. I had heels on that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, know. Was, was no, I, I know. Was I looking good? I was looking snatched. looking good. You yeah. was. You Come was. On. <laughs> Come on, I'm a pretty bitch that get money. Like, what else, is, what else do you need? I have a, name somebody you'll date that'll have a better personality than me. That's a good point. I haven't, I haven't messed with you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You just so put, I feel yeah. like I feel like you just you just like overlooking me maybe because of this. Oh my! Don't do that! Don't do that! Uh uh! You can't you can't play that card this time. Ain't <laughs> what no way. What else could it be? Ain't no I'm a way. What else could it be? <laughs> no yeah, I'm pretty as. <laughs> I get money. I'm successful. I'm charismatic. I'm fun. I'm loyal. I just, so I just like, told you I'm recovering right now. There's there's there has to be something physical, and it can't be uh, nah. not my face. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get me in trouble? <laughs> And that's not even why. I love you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now we're really out of time. Okay. Nikki, I love you. And thank you so much for coming on my podcast. I hope that maybe one day after you recover from that talking situation, again, I'm a role player. So take as much time as you need. Um, uh, I hope that one day me and you can get a candlelight dinner at Cat Steak. Yeah. Probably never even heard of that because just don't be, we don't even know what that is. They don't. Yeah. They know what Chick-fil-A is and in and out. <laughs> Yeah, you got a upper echelon bitch like me. Um, do you have anything out upcoming or where can they find your podcast? And just tell them what you got going on, man. Yeah, I mean, I got my own podcast called Suburb Talks. Um, hopefully, Fanita will leave the link in the description. <laughs> um, but mm. not, I would definitely stay tuned because, Fanita, you're going to be coming on yep. uh, definitely in January. Mm -hmm. um, I would stay open and aware for when that podcast drops. And I'm going to be so excited. Cause you're gonna be, it's just gonna be a whole like corral of us. Just yeah, all, yeah. It's, it's gonna just, be us yelling. We just gonna be yapping. Yeah, yeah. It's just me yapping. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a three hour podcast. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. I get to spend three hours with you. I will spend three years with you. I will spend eight years with you looking at each other. Really? Cause that's how beautiful your face is. Thank you. I you're welcome. That. This is the time where you say, Fanita, you're beautiful. Oh, Fanita, you're beautiful. It was forced. Anyway, um. <laughs> You guys, it's your favorite uh, sexy ass black girl, man. It's been another episode. I just keep bringing you guys banger after banger after banger. I feed y'all good. Uh, that's why y'all are fat as hell. Um, but this has been another episode of Bottoms Up with Fanita. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you think Nick should just give me a fair chance and let me take him out. Um, and you can catch this podcast on the Pastor Bedtime YouTube channel every Monday. We drop a new episode. And I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Peace out, guys.